Now we've had a look at servers and how our computers, the client, communicates with the server. So that should be your first indication as to the difference between client-side and server-side languages. Now, in order to discover whether a language is client-side or server-side, you have to look at where the language is compiled or transpiled, don't forget. So, in either case, whether it's transpiled or compiled, what we need to do is look at where that process takes place. Now, if that process takes place on your computer, it's on the client side. If it's on the server, then it's server side. So take, for example, a standard web page that you pull in. You ask the server for a HTML page. Now, the server will also give you any associated CSS and JavaScript files. So we have received on the client side, we are the client, the HTML, CSS and JavaScript files. So now we're on the client side. Now we know that HTML and CSS are markup languages. So therefore they're not compiled. However, JavaScript is a scripting language or a programming language and it is compiled. So what happens is that will be compiled on our computer, on the client side. So in fact, JavaScript is in fact a client side language. But what about a server-side language like PHP, Ruby, Node.js? All of these are server-side programming languages. And why? Well, your server gives you outputs. So it will either output files and it will be compiled on your computer, or what it will do is it will do the compilation or transpilation on the server and give you the output. So for example, I have a PHP file that echoes out hello world. Now if PHP was client side, I would be able to receive that PHP file and it would say echo and I'd see the string in the semicolon. So I'd be able to see that file, but I don't. I don't get to see that syntax. All I get to see is the output because what happens is the PHP script gets run on the server, AKA compiled on the server, and it produces the string, hello world. That's all it produces. I don't get to see any of the PHP syntax. I don't get to see echo and the semicolon and all the rest of it. It just gives me the string, that's it. It gives me the output. So once it's been compiled and it has the output, it sends the output from the server, this is all done on the server, it sends the output to your computer. That means that PHP, Node.js and Ruby are server side because all the processing is done via the server. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because you could be accessing personal data via your scripts. You may have username and passwords in those scripts in your server side language. So what happens is your server side language has those username and passwords and all the rest of it, but that syntax doesn't get sent to the computer. Instead, that syntax is processed. And then once the syntax has been processed, it just gives the output. So that's why we have client side, which means the compilation or transpilation takes place on the client on your computer. Or if it's on the server side, the compilation and the transpilation happens on the server side and the client is not involved and they don't receive the script, the syntax, they just receive the output.